<clears throat> have you ever um, been asked, you know, what's the definition, or, or asked someone else, what's your definition of Satanism? If you were, were for about, oh good lord, let's say about 40 years, uh, no, about 30 some odd plus years, if you asked me that question, and you were compiled my answer, it will all be different. They'll all aim the same direction, they'll just be worded completely different. Why? I don't have a prescribed mantra to go by. In short, how I feel that day, I will describe my Satanism. So if I have a super good day monetarily, I will make a reference to doing well in business or exercising my will to be financially gainful. If I was to go off and, oh, I don't know, I bought a new vehicle, and I said, to help with material wealth and, and gain, the list can go on with scenarios and how I feel. And if I have something troubling in my life, I'll talk about striving through it. In short, Satanism is you. And Satanism is from within, as I would call it for me. But if you belong to an organization, guess what you're going to hear from everyone who you ask from that same group? They will come up with the same mantra. The same Satan is. Because that's what they believe. But they believe in the mantra, not themselves. Have you ever talked to a robot? Or worse, a telemarketer has to read a script and not go out of verbatim. So what do you do? You just hear enough of it over the years to understand that is a particular type of belief system that doesn't expound, or worse, it ignores the individual, as they proclaim that it is for the individual. Why does every individual say the same thing? So when you go and look at my videos, or you watch me on live, and you ask, what is Satanism? And I will respond differently every time. Again, same direction, worded completely different. Because it's how I think of Satanism for that moment, that day, my self-reflection.